calling it a love song what is up my awesome gemstones it's mary gem and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be you versus their x okay so we have one two three four five piles here so yeah this is pile one pile two pile three pile four and pile number five so pile one is this really pretty like rose gold type it's like a belt rope type thing Okay, pile two is this red rope. Pile three is this rope, but yeah, it's a belt. <laughs> belt. Pile four is this denim belt. And pile number five is a brown ribbon. Alright, so these are the five piles. Pick whichever one you would like to. Think about your person. Think about the message you would like to receive. I love you so much and let's get straight into the video. Alright, what is up my awesome gemstones? It's Mary Gem and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be on you versus your ex, okay? Let's get straight into the video. I am super excited. If you'd like a personal reading, my details are down below. I'm currently doing 50% off, so it's $15 and um, $10 for a reading. And yeah, anyways, let's get into it. So, pile number one, this is what you guys chose. You guys chose this cute little rope type thing. So, um, yeah, so immediately what I was busy hearing is that I, I was hearing the song Try, I'll link it down below, but yeah, we, the song is like, you don't have to try so hard, you don't have to give it all away, all you have to do is get up, get up. So, um, I don't know why, but you even remind me of like Remy Cruz for some reason, I'll insert a photo of Remy Cruz, you could be Asian as well, um, oh yeah so maybe you met this person on holiday but yeah so i feel like when it comes to you versus um their ex i'm first gonna go with you and then i'll go into them okay all right so i'm going to do this reading like this i'm gonna say how they view you and then how they view your ex okay so i feel like your person views you as the five of swords and they view their ex as the five of pentacles that came upright I can't really lift my arms up in this jacket, but yeah, anyways. So, with the Five of Swords, they view you as someone that they kind of had to see going... They had to go behind someone's back, you know? I'm hearing that maybe even you're someone that will go behind someone's back to get what you want. Not even in a malicious way, but I think it's just more that when it came to their ex, they kind of felt like they were with them in the beginning and there was a long-term commitment. Whereas when it came with you, they kind of felt like they needed to come and soup swoop in or maybe they kind of felt like they had to save you from a different from a dangerous situation and they kind of feel like um yeah like when it comes to you they felt like they needed to save you they felt like they needed to come in and they kind of felt needed they felt like although you were going through something really traumatic they felt like they could kind of be there for you and console you and i feel like with their ex they never really got to console their ex maybe their ex was someone that um you know they just always had this type of um, mental stimulation, this mental thing where they always knew what the other person was thinking. And I feel like because of that, it's kind of like maybe they ended things on good terms or um, they felt like they never had to guess what the other person was thinking, you know, when it comes to the ex. So, um, yeah, so you're kind of like they had to come in and comfort you. But then with their ex, you know, they always knew what their ex was thinking. Okay, and then we have the Two of Swords. So they view you as someone that can be really close off sometimes. I feel like you can be someone that's very dismissive and someone that will cut someone off if you need to. They view you as someone that um, kind of puts your heart first because you are someone that has a really big heart. I'm hearing that you really care about this person, your person, and um, you know, you do almost anything to kind of like make them feel better. Like I'm hearing that you would even like hurt yourself to make them feel better, okay? And then with the three of wands, when it comes to their ex, they kind of feel like um, how they viewed their ex, it's kind of like 
they could never focus on themselves and also on them on their ex at the same time it was always either or so if something was wrong with their ex everything had to go into making their ex feel better and it was just their ex and then if your person was upset everything went into their person and like it didn't have anything to do with their ex it was never completely balanced where i feel like when it's with you they feel like they can tell when you're trying to make them feel better and then they feel like oh but i'm also trying to make you feel better so it was like a bit of like a balance you know but with their ex it wasn't um, and then we have the Empress card. So they view you as someone that is beautiful. They view you as someone that is really attractive, someone that they'd really want to be in a relationship with, honestly. I feel like they view you as someone that um, is really magnetic. And then we have the Seven of Cups. They felt like, I feel like in another life, they thought that they were going to end up with this person, with their ex, because we have the Seven of Cups. This talks about desires and it talks about having multiple options out there. So I just feel like in another life, they really could see themselves in a long-term relationship with this person. You know, because how they view their ex, like it isn't all bad, you know, like it's not like a horrible thing. And then we even have the Ace of Pentacles that came up, right? And then we have the Tower card. So this is talking about the contrast. So they view you as the Tower card and they view their ex as the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, they view you as someone where it's like everything is so chaotic. They feel like nothing's really set in stone and they're still wondering kind of like how you guys ended up together and how this is all happening. They're still trying to navigate how they view you. They're still trying to navigate um, this relationship dynamic with you because with their ex, it's kind of like everything was already predetermined. They felt like nothing was really out of the blue. They felt like everything that they could... Like, they knew what was going to happen, you know? There was a stable foundation, and they could tell what was going to happen. Nothing was really out of the ordinary. But then with you, it was kind of like, things are always out of the ordinary. Things are always chaotic. Things are always crazy, you know? One day, they're, like, messaging you and texting you, and then other days, they aren't. One day, you're completely open, and then the other day, you're kind of like, you know what? Like, I'm done. I don't want them. And then they still view you as the empress, and then other times, they just feel like your relationship is always, like, going through something, you know? But then with their ex, it's just more like, in another time, or, like, in another universe, you know? Or even if, like, Maybe it's like right person, wrong time. So this was the wrong time for their ex. But they're saying like they could have seen, they did see themselves like in a long-term relationship with their ex, but it just didn't work out that way. So no cups, they chose someone else. They felt like they wanted something else, you know. They wanted more from someone else. They wanted more emotions. Spirit, how do they view um, pal one versus their ex? Pile one versus their ex. We have the seven of swords. So there's just a lot of sneaking energy. I don't know why I'm seeing cheating. I feel like maybe they were cheating on you with their ex or their ex or they cheated on their ex with you. But either way, there's a lot of cheating energy and they just feel like they're worried that maybe because they left their ex for you, they're kind of thinking that you do the same thing. Like you'd maybe cheat on them or you'd be dishonest to them because they did the same thing to their ex. Spirit, how do they view Pile 1 versus their ex? Pile 1 versus their ex. We have the Emperor card, okay? They feel like they need to choose who they want to be with. They feel like they need to be the one that's in charge of their heart. Because I'm just hearing this person say that um, they messed up a good relationship with their ex. But they really want to be with you because they wanted you. They were willing to take that risk, you know. Even if that meant, you know, doing something bad and like going behind someone's back. Because Aries people are, they're great people. They're really good people. But at the same time, you know, they kind of do what's in their best interest. Um, Spirit, can I please get more cards about Pal 1? So them versus their ex. We have the King of Cups that came up, right? It just feels like there's more emotions to grow when it comes to you. There's more emotions that can be explored. But it's kind of like all emotions, you know? I feel like there's more pain to be, um, to grow in this relationship. So there will be more pain. There will be more love. There will be more heartache. There will be more joy. I feel like there's a lot of emotions that are able to be explored in this relationship with you. Whereas with their ex, it's kind of like they've explored all the different emotions, you know. 
they just don't want you to feel like they're stuck or they feel like you're gonna leave them because you found out that they weren't a great person before so they kind of feel like you see them for their flaws but their ex didn't their ex didn't hold them accountable for their flaws but you do so um yeah that is what i've got for you pal one i really hope that it resonated let me know if it did and yeah let's get into the next one all right you guys chose pile number two this is pile two let's see thank you spirit so much for being here can i please get an accurate reading for pile two how do they view pal two versus their ex all right so let's see how they view you and how they view their ex okay so the first card we have is the four swords so i'm using tarot to describe you and i'm using quatromancy to, to um describe their ex but okay i feel like they view you as someone that has gone through a lot of healing i feel like when they met you they just felt like you seem like you were already ready you seem like you have gone through so much healing and maybe it's kind of like i don't know how to say it but it's like snow white you know where she was locked up in the tower and then she finally like or like rapunzel where she's like pure and she's just been locked up inside and then when she finally goes outside she meets someone she meets flynn so i'll insert a photo i feel like they view you as kind of like rapunzel and flynn so yeah where they felt like you didn't maybe have that much experience in dating or they felt like you didn't like, you know, you healed after a breakup. They just felt like you seemed so pure. You seemed like you were rested. You seemed like you were so energetic, you know, because you had a long time of rest. And then with the Ten of Cups, I feel like they viewed their ex. This is like with the first meeting. They felt like you were vibrant. They felt like you just woke up from a nap and you were like, you know, restored. You were fresh, you know. Um, and yeah, they feel like you were able to go through um, situations and just like, I don't know, like, you could go through an apocalypse and still make it look easy basically like that so with the ten of cups i do feel like they had a lot of love for their ex i feel like um when it came to the ex you know they were head over heels in love they had a lot of love to give for them and i feel like their ex loved them a lot they probably their ex loved them more than they ever loved their ex yeah i'm hearing that their ex was way more in love with them than they loved their ex Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles that came upright. They view you as someone that will stick by them, even if they don't have any money. So I'm hearing that money was a big factor in their breakup. And also our money is a big factor in this person. Our money is a big factor in general for this person, sorry. It's like morning, so I'm still like, you know, yeah. But anyways, I feel like money is a big factor and they just feel like, even if they didn't have any money, you would still support them. There's like a song that Kaylin Rapp said where he was like, I'll link it down below, I forgot what song it was, but yeah. And then we have the three of swords that came up, right? They know that they really hurt their ex. I'm hearing that they know that they messed up. They hurt their ex so much because their ex was in love with them. And they kind of just broke their heart. They didn't, they weren't as in love with their ex as they are in love with you. Or they don't feel the same way about their ex that they feel about you. I feel like there was almost no love in this relationship. It was always just like more like physical. It was more just about like sex. But it wasn't actually about love. Because we have the page of wands that came up, right? I feel like when it comes to you, they feel like you're this person that they really want to get to know. They're saying like, damn, like, I want to get to know you. I want to see what makes you happy, what makes you sad. Like, I want to be able to be there for you. Um, you know, they want to explore every part of your body. I do feel like they also want to sleep with you. I feel like there's a lot of sexual energy surrounding this person. So, you know, with their ex, the sex was probably really good. But I'm hearing that, like, there wasn't any love. But then for you, it's kind of like they're falling for you. They're actually getting genuine feelings for you. Because if it was just sex, maybe it started off like that. But I'm hearing that, like, it's more than that, though, you know. And they genuinely actually care about you. Six of Swords. I feel like they viewed their ex as someone that they tried to avoid. So every time their ex would try to make plans with them, they would just cancel. They weren't really into it. They aren't really... Yeah, I feel like they really didn't love their ex that much. Like, honestly, not at all. And then we have the Knight of Wands that came up, right? So this talks about them wanting to move forward towards you. They just feel like you seem like the perfect partner for them. They feel like you're the partner that everybody would love to have, you know? It's... 
it's like you know christian gray and anna where she was a virgin and you know he's like super into like you know the dominatrix and stuff so now he met someone that was a virgin and he was just like what like this is crazy and he was so excited to try everything out on her because she's never experienced anything before and i don't know maybe you don't have dating experience maybe you're a virgin obviously virginity is a social construct we don't do all that stuff but i just mean like they viewed you as like this precious thing that like you haven't you haven't experienced them before you've never been with them before and they're kind of like they want you to see every part of them they want to be able to open up to you they want to show you everything um it's really insane even how to describe it but yeah so that's what the knight of wands and then they view the excess with the um king of swords you know just someone that they were willing to cut off like i feel like with this ex they were willing to break up with them at any point in any moment you know um so yeah there was a lot of pain in this i feel like on their ex's side and you know i feel like they cut their ex off and they didn't even feel bad about it and I feel like it's important that you take that into consideration as well because they really didn't care about their ex that much. I'm not hearing that they were abusive or anything. I just feel like it was barely a relationship to begin with, you know. But with you, it actually seems like this could be a genuine relationship. Um, and then we have the three of wands that came up, right? I'm hearing that their ex is still trying to get back together with them, but they're not even focused on them. They're focused on you so yeah their ex is low-key still in the picture but i feel like they don't have feelings for their ex they have feelings for you so that is what i got for pile number two i really hope it resonated let me know if it did and yeah let's get into the next one all right this is pile number three you guys chose this rope let's see how do they view pile three versus their ex spirit pile three versus their ex okay so the first call we have is the hermit card that came upright so you know they could view you as being mostly like Virgo Capricorn Taurus we do have some um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces and then we have Aries Leo Sag but I feel like maybe you're kind of like um, an Aries moon um, and like maybe a water sign Sun and then like your earth sign is like your rising your Mercury your Venus and that type of energy and their X maybe was a fire sign Sun and then an air moon and then their Venus was in Cancer Scorpio Pisces and then um, Mars Mars and okay Mars and rising could have been like Capricorn Virgo Taurus but yeah anyways so they viewed you or they view you as someone that likes to stay at home. I feel like they view you as someone... <coughs> okay, I don't want to say that you're boring. But I do feel like there's this sense of kind of like... You kind of like not seeming interested in them. I feel like Paul 3, they kind of just feel like... You don't really put the effort in trying to get to know them. Because they feel like every time they try to talk to you... There's just always some reason why you guys don't get along. Or it's kind of like there's a lot of friction. Or the conversation isn't as stimulating as they would like it to be. I think that with the King of Pentacles that we also have over here... It's kind of just talking about how... They view you as someone that, you know, makes your money and you would kind of prefer staying in rather than going out. Or they feel like you're someone that opens up to your friends and you're really like extroverted with your friends. But when it comes to them, you're really shy. It's like, you know, Libras when they have a crush on someone. Libras are super sociable. Um, they're always making friends. They're always taking pictures and stuff. But then when they're around their crush, they get super shy. They're always stuttering. They're always nervous. And I feel like it can come off as really attractive. But then other times it's kind of like, okay, but like, why won't you talk to me? Why is everything so awkward? So I do kind of feel like they view kind of talking to you and your connection as just being a bit like awkward, a bit off, you know, sometimes. And then with their ex, we have the Six of Swords that came upright. I'm hearing that initially they didn't really like their ex. I feel like um, maybe you're friends with their ex and like there was kind of like a mutual thing going on. Or their ex was their best friend's ex. Where there was just a reason that they had to let their ex down. Or they had to turn their ex away. So they weren't allowed to be with their ex. It was kind of like a forbidden thing. And then I feel like with the Eight of Cups that came upright... They decided to just, you know, make a move. So they were the first person to, mem uh, to make a move on their ex. 
and then we have the six of cups i mean the six of wands that came up right i feel like they view their ex as someone that they'd really like to be with and someone they would really um want to be in a relationship with you know again i'm hearing that they could still have feelings for their ex because i'm just hearing them say that even if it isn't romantic they would love to be this person's friend because genuinely they've always wanted to be with this person they've always wanted to be friends with this person but they weren't allowed to be because of other circumstances we have the knight of wands that came up right they want to keep talking to them they want to keep having communication i'm hearing them say that even if it isn't romantic like they want to support them they want to be in their life you know Maybe they're even talking about having an open relationship, so they could be talking to you and their ex. But yeah, and then we have the seven of pentacles that came up, right? I feel like, yeah, they're talking to both of you, or it's kind of just like, as much as they want to commit to their ex, they know that maybe they can't, not right now. Or they feel like they're involved with you, like maybe you're the other person. So it's kind of like, yeah, I'm hearing that they can't commit to their ex right now. And that's kind of how they view their ex. Someone that they want to be with, but they can't commit to right now. And then when it comes to you, they view you as someone that, yeah, like I said, you prefer to stay home or you just don't talk to them that much. And I feel like you get really shy around them. You're always trying to avoid them. We have the five of cups, you lift them. You kind of make them feel like you don't want them. You make them feel like you aren't interested in them. Because you even could be watching this and you're in, a, uh, you're in a relationship with someone else. Or you're just watching this for fun, trying to see like, oh, you know, like, let's see. How do they view me? How do they view their ex? So, yeah, we had the five of wands that came up, right? There's always a conflict. I feel like you're always trying to maybe start a fight with them. Or you're always trying to avoid them. Or you're always bullying bullying them so if you're trying to flirt with them i feel like you're not making it really obvious you're not really making it seem like you're into them because this person does not even think that you're into them i'm hearing that they're like what like you like me like they'd be really shocked if you told them how you felt because i'm hearing that you haven't even made it apparent at all that you like them you haven't made any moves you haven't flirted with them you haven't done anything you know so yeah, I think it's important that if you do tell them how you feel, you ease into it. Like, don't tell them, like, oh, like, I'm in love with you. Like, keep it really slow. Keep it simple. And then we have the four cups that came up, right? They just feel like you already are in another relationship. Or they just feel like, yeah, you aren't interested in them. And I feel like maybe, yeah, they aren't interested in you either. But just because they don't see you making any moves towards them, you know. We have the hermit card staying at home. We have the king of pentacles, someone that's making their money. So between staying at home and making your money and staying where you are, I feel like you're waiting for them to approach you. But I think that they won't approach you because A, they still have feelings for their ex and B, you just haven't made it known that you're available. Because the Four of Cups, you know, this person sitting there in the corner with their arms crossed, they're not even looking at anyone or anything. So they don't even seem open or forthcoming to like having a new relationship or having any so any form of relationship so that's kind of like how they view you um but yeah let me pull out one card for it this is for pile three and then let's do their x okay so they view you it says mini love you know someone that's really attractive but someone that doesn't seem like they want to get in a relationship you just kind of seem fine by yourself and then when it comes to their ex it's kind of just like okay are they gonna commit now or they're gonna commit later yeah i think they just view their ex as like a commitment something that they want to commit to so yeah that is what i got for part three i really hope it resonated let me know if it did and yeah let's get into the next one all right pile number four let's get straight into your reading so this is the rope or the type of thing that you guys chose so yeah like immediately the channel's message i was busy hearing is that i heard them say like the, there's a specific type of love that i feel for you like all of my love is very specific so um it's interesting pile number 
um, for because I do feel like for some reason this could definitely be LGBTQ because I'm hearing that or like they could be demisexual or asexual because I'm hearing that how they view you versus your ex it's like you know they were platonically in love with their ex but I feel like they were romantically in love with you but um yeah let's get your cards out and also it's really cold so <laughs> don't mind my blanket spirit thank you so much for being here can i please clear the energy this is just for pile four how do they view pile four? Ooh. all right pile number four let's get straight into your reading so the first card we have is the eight of swords that came up right this is about how they view you okay so initially, um, I feel like they viewed you as someone that they couldn't move forward towards because they were already in a relationship. We have the Three of Cups that came upright. So all the card romantic cards has to do with their ex and then all the tarot cards has to do with you. So they were already in a relationship when they wanted to come towards you or you were in a relationship. And I'm hearing that they were kind of just waiting to come towards you. I feel like they were just with their ex because maybe... They felt like their ex was the only one that wanted them or they felt like their self-esteem was really low and they didn't think that they could ever be with you. They never thought that they would have the opportunity to be with you. So they kind of just stayed with their ex or I feel like they've never even had an ex in the past. I'm just hearing that their previous love connections never really amounted to the same amount of love that they have for you, pal for, which is really sweet. Like I'm hearing them say that they wanted to come towards you, but they just never thought you'd be an option. An option. They never thought that you'd ever feel the same way about them and knight of cups i feel like they've always had romantic feelings for you like i'm hearing that even when they were with their ex even when they would be with other people they'd be thinking about you the entire time they always thought about making a move towards you and they always thought about how their feelings they felt like it would never be reciprocated they always felt like it was unrequited love Queen of Swords that came upright. I'm hearing that when it came to their exes, because I'm hearing that it's exes, it's multiple. So either they've never had any exes or they have a long history of it because I'm hearing that with their previous exes, it never really amounted to like a point where they felt like they could fully consider them an ex or where they've where they ever fell in love with their ex. I feel like maybe you could be this person's first love or um yeah, I just feel like compared to their ex, it's kind of like, you don't really amount to it, you know? Um, like, I remember in Boy Meets World, like, it's giving Corey and Topanga, I'll insert a photo of here, where he was like, if I had to dream up the perfect woman, she wouldn't even come close to you. Where I'm hearing them say, like, if they had to think about, like, you know, you compared to their ex, you know, their ex is the queen of swords. This is someone that... um just always thinks about themselves. I feel like it's someone that he was never, I mean, that they were never able to completely open up to, you know. I feel like they always felt like very isolated in this relationship with their ex. Okay, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles. They just feel like they're always waiting for you to come forward. They're always waiting for you to just make a move. They're waiting for you. And they were waiting for the perfect time to tell you how they felt. So they knew that this was definitely going to be a slow burn type of love. Um, so yeah, I feel like they're saying that you are definitely worth the wait. They feel like you put in so much effort in everything you do, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to everything. They just feel like you're someone that they want to be with, okay? Five of Wands. They always felt like they never felt the same way, or they never felt completely in love with their exes. So if this is an LGBTQ plus reading, for example, let's say this person is bisexual and they were dating a male. And then it's kind of like, well, like, let's say they're a lesbian and they were going through compet, which is compulsory heterosexuality, where they were dating a male and then they, like, kissed you for the first time and they were like, oh, shit, like, is this actually what love feels like? And, like, you know, sometimes <clears throat> when you're with someone um, and then you kiss them or you, yeah, you kiss them for the first time and you can actually feel a spark. I feel like that's what they feel with you. They kind of view you as being their twin flame. But then when it came to their exes, it's kind of like they never felt that spark. They never felt that thing that wanted like that draw them that drew them in. They never felt that that feeling, that love, you know. So yeah, I do feel like you are this person's first like true real love. So yeah, I'm hearing that they always felt like 
this inner conflict where it's like there were two people fighting inside you know and fighting inside them if those was a third party or just when it comes to them and their true feelings like they'd be with their ex they'd be kissing their ex they'd be you know doing the things with their ex but they wouldn't actually be completely there so yeah and then we have the magician card so you could definitely be an aquarius um gemini or libra you could be a water sign i'm busy you're definitely virgo capricorn taurus and then yeah Anyway, so with the Magician card, they just felt like you really did unlock something in them. Something that they thought they could never feel again or feel ever. Yeah, I'm hearing again, you know. Maybe they were once in love with their ex, but like that flame was long time gone and you reignited something in them. And they felt like, you know, young again. So this could definitely be an older partner. And it's kind of like they've been through a divorce, they've had their kids and everything. And they just thought that love wasn't in the books for them they just thought that they would lead a life that didn't have a romantic love which is completely valid but like they met you and they were like shit like this is the real deal like i actually feel something for you you know i feel like maybe before it was just like six six but now it's like it's actually a genuine connection <clears throat> six of swords that came up right i'm just hearing that they closed the door with their exes the door is closed you know i'm hearing that yeah the door is closed they don't have any ill blood with their ex i don't think that it's like a horrible horrible breakup i think it's just more with the ace of cups that came up right that they had a love for their ex but it wasn't romantic or their exes aren't horrible people it's just more so that they weren't in love with them they didn't feel like they could open up to them they didn't feel like they felt that connection with their exes you know so um yeah and then we have the world card they just feel like once they met you they felt like they could start thinking about long-term plans they could start thinking about you know getting married they could start thinking about kids and i feel like they never felt like that for such a long time where they would start considering things that they never would have considered in the past you know so yeah i think that's really amazing part number four okay we can focus so yeah um let's see spirit how do they view powerful how do they view powerful so we have sectioning again i just feel like you are different you really are i feel like they just feel different with you and they're expert it says don't come over yeah i'm hearing like separately you're the only person that can make them come you're the only person that can make them come their ex could never like turn them on like you do so yeah that's what i got for pile four i really hope the video resonated let me know if it did and if you chose this pile comment down below and yeah let's get into the next one i got that summertime summertime sadness all right pile one two three four all right, pile number five, you guys chose this ribbon rope over here. Let us see, Spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Can I please get an accurate reading for pile five? How do they view pile five, Spirit? How do they view their ex? How do they view their ex? Ooh. Pile five, definitely you guys have to take a seat. This is a lot. How do they view, pile, how do they view their ex, Spirit? How does Pile 5 view their ex? Oh, so many cards. Alright, let's get into it. So Pile number 5, how do they view you? So the Tarot cards has to do with you and then Card Romancy has to do with their ex. So the first card we have is the Knight of Pentacles that came upright, okay? So they viewed you as someone that... <laughs> was okay how do i say this it kind of feels like okay i'm gonna insert a photo from human resources dante and that other love bug over there okay 
I'm hearing that you never really fall for this person's tricks, okay? I feel like when it comes to their ex and when it comes to you, there's a huge contrast where you guys are kind of just really different, which is similar to pile number four, but just different in the sense where... Okay, Knight of Pentacles, they felt like you were slow moving, okay? You were really... Um, I don't want to say you weren't forthcoming, but yeah, you weren't forthcoming when it came to emotions and feelings and maybe even like the physical thing where you didn't really want to give it up or you didn't really want to make time for them or they just felt like you were way more conservative than what they were used to because we have the Eight of Pentacles over here with their ex and I feel like with their ex is kind of like they were always, you know, interested from the get-go and I feel like you weren't. It kind of took you a bit longer to... Um, be interested in them and i do feel like pile five maybe you were the one that hurt their feelings you were the one that kind of left them and they feel like you're happier since the breakup so i feel like loki both of you guys are exes or it's kind of like they've been in between you and their exes and like you know like first it's their ex then it's you then you've been their ex and then the other person's been their partner and that type of thing so from the get-go, their ex was always interested. From the get-go, you know, maybe they had kids with this person or they have a really strong connection with their ex and it's kind of like, they felt like you couldn't get in between that. And I feel like maybe you think that it's they're choosing between the two of you, but I'm hearing them say that it's not really a choice, you know. They're saying that it's not you or them or them or you. It's just more so that they want you guys to both coexist together. I feel like... Um, you know trying to ask them how do they feel about you and how do they feel about their ex is like they want you both you know i feel like they want you guys both and they're kind of saying like don't ask me how i feel because i don't even know how i feel you know they're still trying to figure it out because this is still a work in progress knight of pentacles this is working this is moving towards very slowly and then eight of pentacles is um, still working on it, you know, so you guys both haven't reached the final destination of being in a committed relationship with their ex and with you So yeah, and then we have the hermit card. They feel like they know that you deserve better They know that if they choose to be with their ex or not you, you will be fine. You'll be okay They feel like their ex probably loves them more than you love them and I feel like they know that. They know that they should have a new beginning with you. But for some reason, they're still tied to their ex. I'm hearing that they're making decisions that are based in trauma. That are based in, um, you know, lust. But, like, not based in, like, their soul's purpose. Because I'm hearing that, you know, they know they should be with you. They know that they should um, pick you over their ex. Because, you know, they can see something with you. But it's just, like... You know, sometimes they say that we accept the love we think we deserve. And sometimes we choose people that hurt us. We choose people that we've been friends with longer or that we've been dating longer. Just because we're like, okay, well, I've built a foundation with this person. Like, I've spent, you know, years and months of my life with this person. So I don't want to give it up. And I feel like that's kind of how they view the difference between you guys. Where with you, they'd have to start completely over. It would be a blank new thing, you know? But with their ex, there's already so much history. There's already so much um, a love there, you know? So yeah. And then we have the six of wands that came up, right? They see the ex all the time. They think of their ex as their best friend, you know? And I feel like it's just really hard for them to let their ex go. So they definitely are not over their ex. I feel like they still have a lot of love for their ex. And they know that they should let this person go. But they don't know if they're ready to do that. You know, sometimes we act within our traumas. If something triggers us, we go back to our fight or flight response, you know. Um, like, let's say, growing up, you never were able to voice your opinions. So now in relationships you stay complacent and you don't voice your needs and that type of thing and i feel like that's how this person is ace of swords you help them to think that they deserve better i feel like there's this energy where you were with this person when they didn't have much or you were with this person when they were going through something and it's this energy where you know sometimes when you date someone and then you build them up and you fold them with a bunch of love and everything and then they break up with you and then you already set them up to be the perfect person for their next partner and it feels like you did all this stuff for them and then they still went and they chose their ex after you were being the perfect partner for them and like i said they know that they should be with you but it's just more like 
they can't let their ex go. So I feel like eventually they definitely will come to that conclusion by themselves and they'll realize that they really did hurt you. Or they know they hurt you, but they're saying that they know you'll be fine even if they choose their ex over you. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. They just want to be a better partner for their ex. I feel like they're, yeah, they're choosing their ex. I feel like they, it's not even that they're choosing their ex. I just feel like right now this person is going through a lot and they are struggling to let go of this person. You know, it reminds me of my one friend that's a Capricorn and, you know, they've done cutting cord rituals. They've done um, just like so many things to let go of their toxic partner who's a Pisces and like so many things, but they keep going back to them even though like they're in love with someone else but they keep going back to their ex and i would ask them i'd say like why do you do this like you're in love with this other person like i can see it and they're like i know i love them but then i'm like okay then why are you still with this other person and it's something that's just inexplainable it's like okay it's something that they have to sort out with their ex and they won't be able to move on from their ex unless they're able to cut things off completely you know, they say sometimes that people go back to their exes until they get completely sick of them or until they can get it completely out of their system. And I think that's where this person is right now, where they're saying, like, they need to be with their ex right now. I think that's what the universe is saying. They need to be with their ex. They need to be with this person because right now you guys are not on the same wavelength. Right now, your paths have not crossed yet, okay? We have the Page of Pentacles. This is going to be a connection that will teach them more about themselves, you know. I feel like right now, the lesson that you're busy learning from this person is about pain and about patience. You're going to be learning a karmic lesson from this person. This is definitely a karmic partner. Okay, we have the Eight of Clubs that came, I mean the Eight of um, Cups that came upright. They're still attached to their ex. Yeah, Three of Swords, they hurt you. They feel like you were the perfect partner for them and they do want to be with you. But yeah, emotionally they can't let go of their ex right now. And they know that it's hurting them and it's hurting you. It sucks when... It's like, this is similar to pile number, I forgot which one, but I remember I'd always say that... You know how unrequited love is all... This, it's all the poems about unrequited love is always about the person that love someone and doesn't love them back but then it's like what about the person on the other side you know the person that can't feel the love for someone that they truly love and it's like it's that type of energy where it's like they want to love you but they can't and like it sucks and they wish they could love you now but they don't you know so yeah and then we have the sun card they truly view you as being the sun i feel like um when they're able to get over their ex i can definitely see them making a move towards you but that time is not now seven of pentacles i feel like there's a lot of karma and trauma within this person especially regarding their ex right now six of cups so yeah i think that right now they're gonna be with their ex i'm not saying that they're happy with their ex i think it's just more so of them still being connected to them but they don't want to lose you and they're saying like I, ho I like i hope you can stay while i'm going through this but that's completely up to you on what you want to do spirit how do they feel about pile five? Oh, it says maybe i was wrong you know i feel like they know they're supposed to be with you they know that they need to choose you they know that they're wrong but they just keep doing that. It's like, it's addiction, you know. I feel like people always, you can get addicted to people, you can get addicted to anything. Like, I know one person that I know, they are addicted to sugar and sweets, you know. And I feel like people try to minimize that. They try to feel like, okay, well, that's not a real addiction. But addiction is addiction, guys, you know. So, yeah. Okay, how do they feel about their ex? Ooh, it says, take time to recharge. I love you. I think that they just want their ex to be okay. They just want to check up check up on them and make sure that they're going to be okay. And like, they don't know if their ex will be okay if they leave them. You know, maybe their ex has threatened them and stuff like that. So they're kind of saying, okay, like when their ex is able to let go of them, then they can come towards you. Like where they say, I need you to let me, like, I need to let you go. I need you to let me let you go, you know? So yeah, 
that is what I got for pile five. I really hope the video resonated. I love you so much. Comment down other video suggestions and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.